we have for the rooms and the Royal Newfoundland Advisory Committee. We want to thank everybody here tonight. We want to thank you so much for sharing all of your extensive, extensive research uh, with us. I think you referred to us at the beginning of your talk as volunteers, and I think I can say that we all eagerly enlisted here tonight to come and hear you speak. It's a real privilege for us to welcome you here and for us to have this opportunity to spend some time with you. For us here at The Rooms, it's also a wonderful way for us to kickstart our um, commemorative anniversary celebrations for the First World War. Uh, Ron mentioned that I was going to talk very briefly about some of the things that we have coming up, so bear with me, just an extra minute. Uh, coming up on October the 2nd, we have Andrew Robeshaw, and he may be familiar to many of you. Uh, he came here several years ago and uh, gave some excellent presentations. He is an expert on the First World War, and he recently uh, was involved in a project that looked at uh, building a trench and living in a trench. So he's going to be here October the 2nd from 2.30 to 3.30 to give a, a presentation on that work. And then the following day on Friday, October the 3rd from 10 to 12, he's going to be giving a special workshop and helping people uh, learn how they can do some research on uh, the, uh, their, any of the relatives that served in the, in the Great War. Uh, then the rooms is also pleased to be partnering with the Newfoundland Historical Society for a symposium that's going to be held October 3rd and the 4th, and it's on the British Empire is at war, more mobilizing Newfoundland in 1914. And just one more thing that I want to mention is that here at the rooms on the second floor, we currently have an exhibition called uh, Collecting the Great War, Enlisting Your Help. And we're inviting people to come in and meet with staff and tell us uh, your stories about any relatives that you have in the First World War. Bring some of the memorabilia that you have. We'd love to talk to you and document some of your collection. So again, Martin, thank you so much. I think we all learned so much and we've been inspired to learn even more and to read more of your work. So uh, please join me in thanking Martin again.